Hello everyone, my name is Brittany, uh, and this is going to be a short video about GMOs and why to avoid them. Everyone, well not everyone, some people think that they're no big deal, and um, it's just the future. The future of food is GMO and genetically modifying our crops to withstand um, pesticides and disease, but... If there's nothing wrong with GMOs, then why do all the countries either ban them or have them labeled? Even China has labeling. China. China, who had, like, melamine in the dog food and killed all the dogs, they have labeling for GMOs in their food. So the fact that China has GMO labeling, but the United States doesn't have GMO labeling, is a little worrying to me. It's just kind of strange that we don't label. And Monsanto, I was born here in the United States, so Monsanto kind of owns the government, and that's why we don't label here, but everyone else does. So, basically, this video is to um, get the word out how you can help to get the United States to label GMOs, what you can do. Basically, we're trying to boycott all GMOs and all companies that support GMO. Like Kellogg's owns Kashi. Kashi's big thing is, oh, we're so healthy, eat our food, it's good for you, you'll feel great. <laughs> Kashi has gotten so many um, insults and, you know, things saying that no one's going to buy their stuff. They've gotten a huge boycott. They probably lost millions in sales so far. So now they're promising to take out all GMOs out of their products. Um, I think 2015 they promised. Then all the GMOs will be out of Kashi products. However, Kashi doesn't say that they are owned by Kellogg's. So all of Kashi's profits go to Kellogg's and Kellogg's puts billions, not billions, they put millions of dollars um, towards defeating GMO labeling laws. Proposition 37 was um, supposed to pass in California. It would be the first GMO labeling law. It didn't pass because so many companies like Kellogg's and Kashi, they put millions of dollars so that it wouldn't pass. So now Kashi is saying that they're going to go GMO free, but Kellogg's is not going GMO free. So you know, we might think that we're eating healthy because we're eating kashi and there's no GMOs in kashi, but the rest of America who's trying to feed their kids good and they don't know any better, they see the commercials for Kellogg's, all natural corn flakes, the only things we have is natural corn and sugar, and they don't know what a GMO is. And it's sad because the Kellogg's corn flakes isn't a natural happy corn flake, you know? What is GMO corn? What is a GMO? They take your food or the seed and they genetically modify it. Like corn, for example, they mutated it. They changed the DNA so that the corn itself produces a pesticide. So now the corn grows, it produces the pesticide, the bug eats the corn, the bug's stomach explodes. Now don't worry, Monsanto says that this is completely safe for our stomachs because, you know, it breaks down in our stomach because we're bigger than the bug, so it, it makes sense that it would break down in our stomach. But anyway, this um, pesticide that is in the corn, that is produced by the corn, has been found in fetuses' blood, in the placenta blood, in our blood. It doesn't break down in our stomach. Why do you think all these problems are on the rise? So many allergies now, so many different uh, gastrointestinal problems, Crohn's disease, autism, like there's so much more problems now than there were so many years ago. Nobody had all these allergies when I was growing up. Now everyone has it. Like this, when you introduce something new into the body that it doesn't know, diseases happen. More diseases happen and that's why so many people are getting sick. And it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, if you want to do the GMO, whatever, that's on you but it should be labeled. People should have a right to know what they're eating. It's ridiculous that all the other companies have a right to, all the other countries 
have their right to know what they're eating, but the United States of America doesn't think we're important enough so that we can know. And it's, it's a big problem right now, and it really needs to get taken care of. So only the people can change this. You need to do some research, try to boycott companies like Kellogg's and Kashi that are putting money towards keeping you in the dark. You know, try to buy as much organic. The biggest GMO crops right now are soy, corn, and believe it or not, sugar. If something says sugar, it's mostly coming from um, GMO sugar beets. Unless it says cane sugar, then you know it's coming from a real sugar cane. But um, most of the sugar is coming from GMO sugar beets. So it's... It's a problem, and I don't want I don't want that pesticide running through my veins, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it running through your veins either. So we just got to get this stuff labeled. Everyone's got to do their part and educate everyone because uh, a lot of people don't know about it. And like I said, you know, the moms are watching the Kellogg's commercials and thinking they're doing good for their kid when they're giving them, you know, pesticide-producing food like. That's gross. You know, Monsanto is saying that they're a safe ag agricultural company where my grandpa fought in the Vietnam War and he was sprayed with Agent Orange. Guess who made Agent Orange? Monsanto made Agent Orange. Monsanto made all these toxic things, but now they're saying, oh, you know, we were a chemical company, but now we're making safe food for everyone. And this food is going to feed the world. Guess what, Monsanto? The world isn't fed. Your GMO food is not feeding the world. There's still hungry people and more sick people. Your food is toxic and it's not, it's not helping anyone. So we need to... We need to fight, we need to get GMOs labeled, and hopefully ban them one day. You know, if you just say, well, I can't do anything, I can't make a difference, you know what, then you can't make a difference. But if you do something, and your friends do something, and all of America says, we don't want these GMOs anymore, guess what? Then Monsanto's gonna have to shut down because no one is buying their shit anymore. So, do something. I'm doing something. I'm trying to get as many people to do something as possible. You can join me online or many others. Look up March Against Monsanto. They do the protests against Monsanto to raise awareness. I run the protest on Long Island. Obviously, not everyone is on Long Island, but you're welcome to join my Facebook group. I will post it at the bottom of this um, video. But, do your part, guys. I don't eat GMOs. My chickens don't eat GMOs. So we gotta, we gotta solve this problem and together, together we will. Good luck everyone.